ahead of our match against Orlando City SC. We have head coach Frank Klopas joining us, and we'll have midfielder Fabian Habers joining us shortly. Good afternoon, coach. Hi. Um, as a reminder, please raise your hand if you have a question, and we'll toss to you when it's your turn. So we will start with Joe Schatz. Hi, thank you so much, Jessica. Thanks, Coach, as always, for taking the time. Hope everything's been going well this week. Uh, initially, I'm curious, uh, what's the update on uh, Marin Haile Selassie uh, going forward after missing last week? And then uh, an update, if you would, on when Carlos Tehran and Jerdan Shakiri might be able to play more than uh, those bench roles they had over the weekend. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think all the players are available. I uh, think you saw Carlos coming in the last game also with uh, uh, with Shaq. Um, I think with Shaq, it was just, you know, let's not forget that the, the guy hasn't had a break since uh, from last year with the World Cup and everything. And uh, when we had that three-day break, he had to travel and played in those two games uh, with the national team. So, you know, that's always in the back of our mind, uh, making sure that uh, – um, he, he's able to recover, but he's ready to go. I think Carlos is just an injury situation. Him recovering, he's been training. Uh, he got minutes in, in Kansas City and uh, another week of uh, and, uh, of training, it's going to help him uh, uh, even a lot more. Same with Myron. He had limited time. It's just a matter of getting them uh, sharp runner and uh, the ability to train, which they have been on, on, on uh, uh, every day now here on the pitch. With the team so they all look good and they're ready to go uh thank you and then in terms of uh, approaching this match against orlando a team that uh the fire have struggled to score against in uh the few the past few years uh the last couple games it's been goals uh opportunistic goals right in front of net what has been stressed in terms of, you know, creating options from both, you know, midfield opportunities, guys stretching up the field, but also setting up things for your strikers? Because it's been, uh, you know, the midfielders the last couple of weeks, Fabi really uh, coming to uh, score the goals. Yeah, but Fabi's been a winger in that game. He's yep. been playing as a 7 and 11 out wide. And if you see all our goals, our buildup starts from really deep and, uh, I mean, the, the, the Portland goal that we scores starts from a builder from a goal kick. And uh, we build out, we switch the point of attack. We had great progression in the final third. And uh, and then we scored, uh, we scored the goal. The Kansas City, the goal is the same thing. It's a throw-in. Goody makes a great turn. He attacks the back line. Good overlapping run. And, and Fabi, uh, as a winger, is supposed to be there following up the play. We have numbers in the box. Uh, it's, look, we do a lot of stuff in our, in our build-up and, and the idea is, you know how to break teams down, and uh, and then the movements that we need in the box. We we work always with our principles, and then obviously, you know, we look at the opposition and and you know in ways that we can attack them, and that's what we focus on. And then the important thing is just get numbers in the box wherever we are. We at least need three guys always in the box. We need to push up. We need to be compact always for second balls, and and, uh, and we've created a lot of chances. I think in the end of the day, we should have scored more goals, but we've gotten in good spots. Our ball movement at moments has been extremely well. Our positioning uh, has been uh, excellent. And it's just a matter of now just, you know, delivering more quality opportunities. We've gone into good spots and it's just uh, some of those uh, opportunities going in. I think they're not all going to go in, but at least we get there and we're taking our chances. And, uh, uh, and then, you know, the ball's, uh, the ball's going our way right now, which is a great thing. But we're putting ourselves in good spots. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Next, we'll toss it over to Hernan Espinoza. Hernan, if you have a question. Yes, Frank, uh, good afternoon. Uh, uh, Chris Brady say uh, that the two uh, weeks that he have uh, without soccer helped the team to become better and prepare better uh, in, in the field and training. Uh, I want to know your opinions about it. Is that a plus for the team? Because you make six points in two games. And now, how is the feeling in the locker room? The feeling is great, Hernan, when you're winning. You know that. So, But we cannot rest there. Uh, I, I think that uh, y there's a lot of, lot of games left to be played. And uh, we got to stay humble and continue to work hard. And uh, I think that's what we focus on. I think I talked about the, the importance of the break. You know, the amount of games that we had, 10 games in 33 days, was difficult to really to do stuff on the field. Uh, so... 
the, the break came in a good moment for us, even though we had that tough loss against Columbus. We had three days off and uh, and then we got back to work. So it was a good opportunity to 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 work on some things that we saw over the past uh, uh, 10 games. Uh, and, uh, and I thought the attitude of the players was fantastic. They came in uh, uh, and uh, worked extremely hard and prepared in the right way. And like I've always said, I think preparations... Preparation is what gives the players confidence and leaves no doubt when you step on the field. And uh, the guys have come back in second half of the season, really two difficult places, and we played extremely well. Um, and uh, six points has been massive. So obviously, you know, it's a good feeling within the group, but we know things can change very quickly in this league. There's so much parity and uh, every game, anything can happen. So, you know, it's just about, we focus on the things we can control, preparation, good game plan, making sure now in the summertime where it gets hot and humid here that the guys are really taking care of themselves, not here on the field. You know, they're here for three or four or five hours. It's what you do after that, that they're disciplined and, you know, they're resting, they're eating right and they're sleeping because that's the most important thing uh, uh, for recovery and uh, and also to get the most of what, of what we've done in the week. So that's been very good good attitude good mentality and uh, we you know we look forward to the match on Saturday it's going to be a difficult one and uh you know uh, but it's all in the preparation thanks coach we'll next go to Miguel from chicagofirefc.com hey frank how are you doing i'm good how are you yeah, you got two results on the road, and I'm wondering how can the team prepare to use the momentum in the last two results for another away trip in Orlando? Yeah, I just think that, uh, you know, I think it gives the team confidence knowing that you can go on the road and, and perform well. Uh, and then obviously, you know, I mean, the second game in Kansas City, getting a clean sheet uh, was very important from from uh, a mentality where we 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 really were disciplined all the way till the end and we didn't give anything away and then found ways really to be dangerous. So I think it's just about confidence and belief within the group. Uh, and that's 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 always important, knowing that you can go in difficult places and get results. That's going to help. But I, I just always stress that, you know, we got to be even keel and, and really continue to focus on the preparation and work hard, which will give us the confidence and continue to grow and and uh, and, and and get better within every match. So... I think it's a confidence boost for sure. Anytime you go on the road and you win back-to-back -back games, it's it's huge for the team and for the mentality of the guys. And what are your thoughts on Fabian Herbers? He was uh, put in the team of the week the last week. What has he been able to do for the team, being a versatile player, just being an example of the young players on the team? That's not being, I think, just what we expect from him. I mean, I think that... He, he's a little bit different than, say, Martin, but, you know, I'm just saying I think it's just different characteristics when, you know, with, with every player. I think Fabi's, you know, is someone that's always looking to get behind the back line. Uh, I think that's uh, one of his qualities that that we need and, and we really stress. Uh, but then always to put himself in good spots. I think he made great diagonal runs on the weak side and uh, always hard to track uh, for defenders. And, uh, um, and, and, and I think it's just someone that he always... Uh, helps the team, you know, he, he always, he, he, there's always a positive with Fabi, just his mentality, his attitude has always been been great. And, uh, you know, when when certain things don't work in his game, then, then you know, he always finds ways where there's there's a plus and, and if, where it's beneficial to the team and to the club overall. Thank you. Awesome. We'll toss it back over to Joe. Thanks again. And coach, with uh, Kai Kamara being named uh, to the MLS All-Star team as a commissioner's pick, I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on Kai as a player in person, uh, having worked with him for half the year. He talked about uh, when he first arrived that uh, it was Ezra who really kind of pushed for him to come in, at least from his perspective. So I'm curious, as someone uh, who's been able to watch this firsthand, what you've seen and what his place is really in MLS history. Yeah, I mean, I just think it just shows you the the, the respect that he has. Uh, someone that has been around the league for a very long time, his ability to perform at a high level, uh, even with his age uh, being 38. But, uh, you know, I mean, he's been playing all those years for a reason. You know, I think you're, you're blessed uh, with certain qualities and characteristics. But then I think that you need to be a good pro uh, to prolong your career as long as he has and to be able to to still perform at a really high level. So it's just a, a huge plus to him and his professionalism, the way he approaches 
his work every day and uh and he's he gives a hundred percent he loves the game he enjoys playing i think that's that's always a huge plus he has a passion and a love for the sport and you know that shows when he steps on the field and and, and really a really good guy in the locker room with the players uh and uh so it's been a really good pleasure to work with him uh he's you know one goal away from from tying landon donovan you know for uh second uh in, in the history of the league and it's just as a great accomplishment to to be up there and to be mentioned with some of those players there so uh you know great stuff on Kai's part he's earned everything that uh and and he deserves his recognition because he's earned it thank you and final question for coach we'll go back to Hernan Yes, uh, my question is about the chemistry. Uh, in the last three games, at least, you have put Alonso Aceves and Jairo Torres to start the game. And also the good chemistry you have with Federico Navarro and Gaston Jimenez in the midfield, it looks like it's working out for you. How um, these players, uh, the Mexican players, are becoming fit into the, the team plans? Yeah, you know, Hernan, sometimes you know, I think it's all about competition, you know, and we want to bring, you know, competition in every spot on the field. And, uh, you know, Alonso, sometimes there's, you know, Miguel was away with the national team and uh, and then he came back. So it's an opportunity that for Alonso to step in, you know, with, and, and he did a great job uh, and, and with, with his, with his minutes. And, 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 and uh, uh, you know, I think the importance with those guys is just, you know, making sure that they train really hard and, and when the opportunity comes, they take advantage of it. And and, and they did. With Iro, it, it's just a matter of him. We talked about it before, Hanan. It's 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 a situation of him staying healthy and continue to train and get games. And he's grown within every game. But we still have to manage and be careful with now with the, uh, overloading him because when you miss a certain amount of time and you come back and you play a lot of games, we still have to, to manage him and be careful. But I think all those players worked extremely hard on, on the training pitch. And when the opportunity came, um, they performed really well uh, within every game, better and better. And with Fede and Gaston, the partnership is, yeah, it's great. And with Fede, uh, you know, you know what you're going to get from him every game. He's going to leave everything on the field, 100% uh, commitment in every play, intensity, energy. And uh, he will do whatever it takes for the team to, to get a result. So uh, it's been great to... Uh, watch all those guys, but as a team, collectively, we've been playing better and better on uh, every phase of, uh, of the game. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Coach. Okay, guys. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. Shots. Thanks, Jess. Hey, Fabi. How's everything going? Good, good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks. Thanks always for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, just curious, your thoughts uh, on your both the team's recent spell of success and your recent spell of success, uh, scoring two and two, playing that winger position on the right with Marin being out, and just kind of how you're feeling overall at uh, this point of the season. Yeah, I think we had uh, two um, good team performances on the road, and I think that's what it takes to to win on the road in in MLS. It's never uh, easy to go on the road, you know. We we know our record historically, you know. Um, it's it's always yeah difficult to go away, time zones, the heat, the change of climate, and everything. Um, but I think the the team stuck well together uh, overall. Um, 
you know, and and myself, uh, yeah, obviously stepping in with with Marin being out with a, with a small injury that he had, and um, yeah, you know, I I always come in and try to do the best for the team, try to you know give my best to come through my work rate, you know, um, give it everything, and then then try to be in the right spots at the right time, and and uh, yeah, fortunately it, it worked out a few times, um, you know, these past two games, and I'm, I'm happy to get on the score sheet and and obviously to help the team. Um, get those two wins. And in terms of getting those goals, those uh, I'd, I'd call those uh, right place, right time, which is really just positioning, right? It's knowing where to be at the right time and executing. I'm curious, just the ment- uh, mentality that goes into that and the way you stay calm in those situations, because it's such a quick reaction, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, both uh, were probably similar goals. Uh, the first one, I mean, it was a nice uh, cross in the back of the defense from from Gucci, uh, where I just ran nicely into it. And, you know, at that point, you just have to make sure you get it on frame. You don't really try to aim for for any any pocket left or right. You just try to get it on frame and not not have one of those YouTube clips where you hit it over from close <laughs> range or hit it left or right of the goal. Um, so, and, and that's what I did with the second one as well. You know, it was a little bit more... Um, yeah, a lucky bounce, I want to say, you know, because it was a cross from Jairo um, that wasn't defended almost on the on the goal line there. Um, you know, so, so it came back to me bouncing and, you know, there as well, you just try to hit it, hit it low, hit it on target. And, um, you know, luckily it went in, you know, I didn't hit a defender, I didn't hit the goalkeeper. So, yeah, I mean, um, I think any other player that would have been there, um, you know, I would have tried to do the same, but it was just... Yeah, the, the lucky bounce that I got and, and happy was me at the, at the time and happy I could help the team. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Next, we'll go to Hernan Espinoza. Hey, Fabi, how are you? Good, good. How are you? Yes, I uh, recently asked Frank uh, the chemistry there at Alonso and Jairo Torres uh, were in the field uh, when they had the opportunity because the international uh, duties of uh, Miguel Navarro and Shakiri, I wonder about your thoughts about it. How's the chemistry with those two players when they come in and play? Because they have been playing for the past three games, I guess. Yeah, I think both, um, you know, Alonso and Jairo were guys that haven't haven't gotten a lot of uh, minutes, you know, from the starting uh, 11 in, in this season. So I think, you know, at those times when... Um, when there's international duty, when there's injuries uh, occurring in the team, you know, you you depend on your depth. And I think both players, um, you know, Alonso and, and Jairo, um, yeah, they developed a good chemistry on that side. I think they contributed really well um, to the team. I think Jairo especially got unlucky, especially in the first game uh, against uh, Portland, where he had two two great chances, you know, couldn't finish, his, finish it off. Um, but uh, it was great runs that he made behind the line, and and those those type of runs um, stretch the defense, and and those type of runs help us out to create space in the middle for for our midfielders to play as well. So um, both had really good games and and contributed really nicely to the to the team performance and to those two wins as well. Wonderful. We'll go next to Miguel from ChicagoFireFC.com. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm wondering what has been the key to your success in your recent games with the team? What has really helped you succeed so far? Um, I think um, the main part was was staying together. Um, you know, in those two road games, obviously we had a really tough loss uh, against uh, Columbus, you know, in that home game where, um, you know, just in the last minute, uh, Zalarayan scored the, you know, um, Goal from from very wide range, uh, wide range, and you know then it's just about sticking together in, in hard times. You know, in, in hard times, it shows the the character of the team. And, and despite not having the best season, obviously, um, I think it still shows that that the team does have character. That they do know how to fight. That we do know how to how to stick together in those tough times, and that we still can come out uh, with wins uh, on the road. You know, so that should give give us hope for the last spell here for the last fifteen games. And uh, you know, to try to to do everything to to get into the playoff spot. We're still, you know, battling for points. We still have to make up some points, 
you know, to get over the line. But but I think those two games are really a statement, you know, that we we don't give up and and we want to keep pushing for the for the rest of the season. And as a player and as a team, how does those two result? How does it do so much for you guys as players? Um, it gives you momentum. How can you guys use that momentum to push yourself off the playoff line? Yeah, obviously, you know, it's a it's a very binary sport, I want to say, or the results at least are very binary, where you either, you know, win or lose. I mean, obviously, there's a tie as well, but I feel like, uh, especially in the beginning of the season, we've had really, really good performances as a team, but but we didn't didn't end up winning those games, um, you know, which was really disappointing. So uh, now to see that we, um, you know, can stick together and the results can bounce our way because sometimes there's a little bit of luck involved as well, um, you know, where you just have the right bounces, just a, as I had in my uh, when I scored those two goals. You know, you know, in a, in, a, in a different game, maybe the goalie makes a save and and you get counted on and then they score and then you lose the game. So it's it's very you know very fine lines in those games. Um, so it really helps for the morale of the team, you know, going forward, especially at this point of the season where, you know, um, you know, the first kind of, uh, I want to call it hype, but the uh, first kind of games, you know, the first excitements of the season starting is kind of gone. And now you kind of get in the rhythm, um, you know, playing week in, week out, uh, sometimes at three games a week. Um, it's really important that the, those results bounce uh, bounce that way, and I think it gives us a push um, and, like you said, the momentum. Hopefully, to go forward and and have more of those results uh, bouncing our way, and and you know collect those points that we need. Thank you, Russell. Do you have a question? Yes, I do. Um, sorry, I joined the meeting late. Um, Hey Fab, how you doing? First question is, how Kamara has been named to the 2023 MLS All-Star team? Any words for him, please? What was the last part? Sorry. No, I'm saying Kyle Kamara, your team, your your colleague, he's been named to the 2023 MLS All-Star team. Right. Any words for him? Oh yeah, of course. He's a he's a good teammate. Um he's a on and off the field, um, you know, great personality, uh, one of a kind for sure, um, but also fun to play with. Uh, I think, you know, the game that he had at Kansas City, I think it was, even though he didn't score that game, I think he had a really, really good game. Uh, he battled uh, for for the team until the last minute, always, you know, working um, against the ball, you know, really hard and, and even winning headers, you know, in our own box, you know, helped us defensively a ton. And he was a big factor why we won that game as well. So he's, he's a really a good competitor in the box. Um, obviously in the offensive box, he's, he's, uh, he's a very good goal scorer, you know, um, you know, his, his heading is, is incredible. His timing is, is really well. And he's, uh, a lot of times at the right, uh, time at the right place to to score those goals so um yeah very deserved very happy for him um you know can't believe the guy is 38 but uh, uh i don't know how he does it um but i will i will ask him for the for the secret sauce there so i can go as far as well thank you thank you any final questions joe Schatz? no i'm good thank you both appreciate it Hernan, anything left on your end? I'm good, thank you. And Russell, are you all set? Um, if if I can ask just one more question, Fab, are you disappointed you're not getting you're not getting call outs to the national team? Mm -hmm. I'm very realistic about myself and uh I think the German national team uh is very competitive. I think guys like Hani Mukta, who have scored uh, maybe 20 goals last season, uh, even even these guys haven't been called up. So um, I think I think I'm very realistic and and very you know down to earth when it comes to that. But uh, if you want to you know have some numbers for me to call or or you know some some push for me to make, I I will gladly accept it. But uh, I think I think I'm good where I'm at. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Fabi. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you, everyone. We look forward to seeing you post-game in Orlando and have a great afternoon.